Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Dishonored second and we try to go elevator now. Let's hope we can. Damn. The robot killed everyone. Nice. Oh no. There was someone. There's no one, there's no one. Chill. What a bitch. Throne room, royalty. Yeah, we're going throne room. I hope what I did at the workshop should just work, right? It it, it seems like it's working, but I'm not sure. So there should be no one, right? She, she should be alone, in my opinion. I'm not sure. <clears throat> okay. I think we are close to finish. Like in the last game, <coughs> pardon. <coughs> in the last game, uh, some people betrayed us. So we we managed to kill the uh, Lord Regent. Then we had to go back and t fight with Doubt. Then go back kill um, the, the people who betrayed us. In this one. We have one subject to kill the Delilah. Then there sh there should be something else too, because this is that's that kind of game, you know. You will take me back and die at my hands. Shut up. Ooh. What can I? What can I say? Uh, what can I say? Sometimes you know, I had to go to black market, but I could not find it. So I try to kill them while I'm going up and down. So. Just give me a second. There you are, old man. Oh my god, dude. How am I going to kill them? No idea. I thought we could talk with him. I mean with her. Yeah, we have... 
Holy and bold. Blind enemies. Now we need this weapon. What has Delilah done to the throne? Oh no. Bro, what is this? Why is the one shotting me? God damn it. How I have to kill her? Oh, with the heart? I have to do something with heart, I guess. Because we brought the heart for not nothing. Or I have to kill her twice, maybe. I'm not sure. What's that mean? What's Delilah done to the throne? I've waited for this moment here in my tower. So now, I will complete my great painting. I will make the world very well. Yeah. Your pain won't work. Your pain won't work. Okay, I'm playing this more than 10 times and I died a lot. So I'm going to edit this and I'm going to put this one and this one we're gonna kill this, I hope. Let's go. Got this, guys. There's nothing she can do. Let's go guys. Fucker. I tried 15 times. Oh my god, I missed her so much. Assault. Bro, I killed 66 times freaking Delilah. What can I do? 
Well, hostiles, really? Okay. I didn't kill them. My robots killed them. Actually, that's their robot. So their robots killed their himself. And then, and then the game says, I killed them, which I didn't. What the heck? Anyways, I guess it's fine. After facing a powerful supernatural enemy, the Empress and her royal protector saw a welcome ally in the Abbey of the Everyman. The Overseers and the Sisters of the Oracular Order brought peace, purity, and tradition to Sir Konos. In Dunwall, with the death of Delilah Copperspoon, her coven lost its power, and their short-lived coup came to an end. The rightful Empress returned to the throne and began extinguishing the fires across her city. So it was that Emily the Just, Emily the Clever, would fulfill her destiny, ruling for decades over a mended empire with Corvo Atano at her side. In his day, Anton Sokolov fired the engines of industry, hurling the empire into a more sophisticated age. He dallied with nobles, wayward artists, and great inventors alike, drinking in all that life could offer. Leaving Dunwall for the last time, he headed to the cold north, contented at last, on a final voyage to take him home. There are things that never change, no matter how hard you try. Questions you must answer. As Megan Foster faded from the world, Billy Lurk stepped from her shadow, setting out to discover her truest self, and seeking the closest thing she'd ever known to family. No, wait, that was it? Really? No, wait. No, please no. Oh my god. Oh, oh fuck. This one was shorter than the other, right? Am I wrong? Yeah. I... Ah... Uh, let Well... It's, it's okay. Like, it's not bad, okay? Like, I would say that. <laughs> it's really good, actually. But... It's not like a first one, you know. I can say that it's not like first one, and they changed a couple stuff, but like they they fucked it, bro. They kind of fucked it. I feel like uh, they could just bring something new. They they just try to do the same as the first one. It's not. It's never going to be the same as first one because first one is different in our in our heard. I mean, I can't even talk. The first one is a really good one. This is the first one is best, and this one is okay. But like, they didn't do much in this one. But I understand because they improved the graphics, etc., etc. So, but I mean, I killed the Delilah with freaking three bow, three crossbow. It, it didn't feel any any good. They could bring better boss fight, in my opinion. And they didn't even show us. What happened after we saved um, Emily? It could be like if we if we save her and then we talk with her, etc., etc., and a couple of people come. Then the 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 void guy talks, and even though the void talk, the void guy changed, and he, in end he talks like he forced to talk, like someone is forcing him to talk. In end, he's talking like that. I don't know what's wrong with him. So, I didn't like the Void guy. It looks nice, the Void guy looks nice, but his voice is fucked up. So, yeah. Um, like, it's, it's not the best, but it's okay. I would, I would like to play the third game, but I'm not sure. Like, when I played and finished the first game, it was so nice. I, I really liked it. I really love Emily, and Go is a really good guy. And I'm really sad that Jessamine died. But I don't know, I feel something is missing in the story. So, anyways. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you guys in the next one.
Take care and peace out.